Hi, good morning, Tuesday morning. The solar wind, that's what I have here. Um, really small time frame, uh, Ninza Renko 84. And um, since I'll be busy in the morning, I have automated uh, the signals. I'll tell you right now, the pullback trades looking to be my favorite. Love these pullback trades. The trend trades are fine. Uh, the pullback is just my preference, uh, but I have automated uh, both and uh, we'll be trading it today. This indicator has a lot of potential, a lot of potential. So um, just going to uh, leave it running. Again, hopefully you subscribed already. If you did not, please subscribe. There will be lots and lots more live videos coming up. Um, if I may say, while we wait here, we'll have a couple of minutes, more of a general um, kind of comment. I am uh, very impressed with the quality of, so far, every indicator I traded by Ninza. Um, the quality of their indicators really second to none. Uh, more importantly even I think the customer service is amazing they always get back now they are based in Asia so those of us who are in the United States have to wait a little bit because of the time difference uh, but they always get back to you they stand behind their products uh, every product that I uh, have tested so far um, really delivered I mean, it's just a question of your preference, what you as a trader prefer, what you as a trader, what you are comfortable with, because they can pretty much address every trading uh, need or approach uh, with the indicators that they have. So just a quick comment on a company in general, very solid company, love collaborating with this company uh, because they have quality uh, so yeah all right uh, gonna let this trade gonna be busy for a little bit there will be some commentary later on but it will be sporadic as I am doing other things this is a PA account and I will be showing my rhythmic dashboard when um, when trading is complete all right enjoy order filled Target filled. Order filled.
stop filled. Order filled. Target filled. Stop filled. Order filled. Stop filled. Order filled. Stop filled. Order filled. All right, uh, so this was one of those uh, rare occurrences when uh, price touched the trigger that brought me to break even on half a position but I was not filled because sometimes to get filled as you know you actually got to go through the price so I just took myself manually uh, I don't know if I mentioned or not but this robot has a $500 uh, max daily target so it was already reached uh, so this chart is done um, let me get through the morning trading and then I will load another account All right, so put another account in. It's now um, a bit after 11 o'clock. Normally, I don't like to trade after 11, but today things are moving. Again, amazing, amazing signals. Uh, look at all these pullback trades. Amazing, terrific signals uh, from Solar Wind here. So um, uh, now just waiting for a long. I actually disabled the shorts uh, so there was no order here filled anyway. here is a long yeah i disabled the shorts because there were so many uh pullback trades you know eventually obviously uh a move comes to an end so at least in my opinion it's not good to keep on kind of going for the same side because uh, that's not how markets work right markets work in waves uh even in a very bearish market that we have today um, eventually there are some buying opportunities so uh, that's why I disabled the uh, short side for now so again see that um, price touched stop filled yeah price touched my target but I was not filled and that's what happens um, so now I don't want to take this kind of stop there should be a pullback trade though should be a pullback trade over here I'm guessing but I think bar actually needs to touch this. I don't know if it did. So now I think there Order should be a, Yep, here is a pullback trade. Okay. So now we have a nice pullback. Trade going together with the unfortunate incident of uh, <laughs> not getting filled on that first target after price touched it. That happens. And today it happened twice. Those are the breaks. So we had a huge move down, a tremendous move down. So now I think it's only expected that we should see some kind of a bounce, even if it's a temporary one, 
uh, there should be some kind of a bounce here. Uh, so the way the robot is set up, if price goes below this uh, line, it will close all the long trades. This would just happen automatically. This way, you know, you're not concerned about um, getting out of a uh, losing position because you should get out of losing positions if it moves too much against you anyway. So let's see if that line holds. It's a real shame I wasn't filled on that uh, first target there, but it is what it is. Target filled. Okay, so that was the pullback, I imagine. Yeah, things get confusing once <laughs> something like this happens. I Stop think that was the, filled. Yeah, so that was the pullback. So I'm still in that um, the average price between the trend change and the pullback entry. Okay, moving nicely. So I'm going to just put my stop here. Um, because I didn't like this whole sequence of events that happened. It, it does happen. I mean, that's live trading. Um, it doesn't happen in market replay trading, but it does happen in live trading. Stop order filled. Okay, so that's a pullback again. Order filled on a pullback. And by the way, this is obviously uh, live trading. So a pullback trade, let's see if I can hit a target on a pullback trade. Target filled. Okay, so now the stop goes to break even. Okay, but now I'm guessing if I'm stopped, I'm stop actually filled. negative. Oh no, I'm not negative, I'm still kind of positive. Okay, so that was a bit weird. <laughs> uh, but all right, all right. Um, should I take another short? Shorts are still disabled. But it definitely looks like they want to sell off. I'm going to wait. I don't think there was enough of a bounce from this huge move down we had. So that's why um, I'm a bit apprehensive about allowing a short side here. It could work out, you know, but um, uh, let me just wait a little. Sorry, guys, again, uh, Order I messed filled. up the recording a bit. So here was a pullback trade. I messed up the recording. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So there was one trade that I did not catch. Apologize. So um, here is a pullback short. Got some slippage on the entry. So I'm, here we go. I'm using market orders for entries. Uh, limit orders, you know, could be better. Stop. It's filled. just that uh, it's just that I like to make sure that um, I'm in the trade, so I use market orders. Uh, for those of you who are uh, newer to trading. The difference is a limit order, you're basically saying, I want my price or better. So you're not guaranteed a fill. Um, with a market order, you are guaranteed a fill, but you could get something called slippage, which basically means you are getting uh, a tick or two or more um, worse than the limit order would have been. So, uh, so that's it. So I'm not sure if there's going to be another pullback trade now because I'm hitting the line again. So we'll see. Again, the, the target here is 500 as well. So I think maybe one more trade. All right, so they're getting toward that uh, 290 I was talking about. Uh, beautiful trade, I mean, beautiful. I did not take this, but I mean, amazing signals once again. Just back-to-back -back amazing signals, really. Look at this. <laughs> Missed all that. And this. Uh, but, you know, that's um, that's how it goes. The indicator does what it does. And, um, you know, as a trader, I gotta pick my own spots. So, just gonna wait for a short here. Order filled. So I'm taking a short. I'm not sure. Oh man, I forgot to. I know. I'm not too bright. I I actually forgot to enable. <laughs> uh, forgot to enable. Target filled. Oh, here it is. Okay. So my mess up. I I forgot. I forgot to enable. 
if you don't enable the software it ain't gonna work so that's it I'm basically I hit my 500 here and now just let's see if I can get something more beautiful short signal beautiful you wanna stop me here it's okay stop filled yeah so uh, target reached on this chart and uh, I will show my uh, rhythmic dashboard a bit later. So, so you know, this is kind of what I mean. You use the indicator as a tool. You still got to do your homework. You got to do your planning as a trader. And then you use software or indicator that you are comfortable with to execute your plan. Now, this indicator is very flexible because it has a number of different ways to enter a trade. So if you don't like simply trend change you wait for a pullback all right uh, and there are many beautiful pullbacks here so uh, you know the indicator just is a tool the traders use this tool is terrific because of all the things I've said already um, it is fairly accurate it has a number of different ways to enter trades it depends what you're comfortable with many different settings to adjust to changing market conditions uh, and obviously you would need to decide what time frame if you use a Renko bar uh, what size what brick size on the Renko bar is most appropriate to the current uh, market condition so uh, that's it for today uh, so two accounts uh, traded successfully uh, stay tuned a bit later I will show my uh, rhythmic dashboard all right so um, another successful day uh, trading the solar wind uh, terrific indicator terrific signals uh, accurate as you can see uh, definitely as as with any indicator um, some basic knowledge of trading is required um, to make it more efficient to kind of help you trade and help you achieve the kind of uh, goals you want to achieve if you're a bit more liberal um, with um, the ATM strategy uh, money management you could possibly squeeze more out of the trades than I did it's just that I immediately uh, like to secure some profits and put my stuff my stop at break even uh, that's just my comfort right so we're all different and with different money management you can probably achieve more more than this um, on daily basis as long as of course uh, you know you have some you have some basic understanding let's say of trading uh, market structure uh, times to trade during the day and so on so uh, overall I am very happy with this indicator it's it's uh, very solid again the signals are terrific and um, yeah, I think I think uh, that's it for today. I'll probably um, make another video uh, this week, so don't forget to subscribe if you did not do so already. And please do not forget to leave me a like. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a great day.